We continue to read verse 23 from the Lakusumantra. The pure devotee sees only Sri Krishna when he looks at the moving and non-moving entities. Yeah. What is meaning? Explain. This quotation from Srimad Bhagavatam, its definition of pure devotee, <coughs> uh, the highest of not few devotees, he is so attached to his Ishta Devotas that he sees everywhere. Love makes someone to see his beloved everywhere, and he sees his Ishta Devotas everywhere in any, any living entities. This is me. For him, all living entities more higher than he is. His feelings. His love is so connected that he only sees in all living entity to his sister. That is the he is a viewer. When I am a doer. Then I don't see that. I have to do it. When I'm so connected with my yesterday, then I see to him everywhere. In all activities of any living. Entity. That means I am viewing to you only. That is meaning of my love is so intense for you. In all living identity and entity, I see you on, not other thing. And who is a doer, he don't see that. He believes in doing. Then he is in material identity. He become happy, distressed, pain. When he is good success, he is happy, unsuccess, he is distressed. He has to go through every circumstance. He sees the moving and non-moving beings, but he does not see their force. Everywhere he perceives his beloved deity. Who sees only He who sees only his worshipable Lord in all the living entities and who sees all 
the living entities in his worshipable Lord is the greatest devotee. Devotion makes the Lord perceivable through all the devotees' senses. This manner the devotee is happy, then Lord is also happy. They think that my service service is to make nearby everyone happy. Because Lord is happy when he they are happy. My Istidir is happy. My Radha Mohan is happy. When all living entity is happy. They see like this. Then how are we to be uh, depressed and not happy? That is a service, is not your doer. The moment you are doer, then he is not a viewer. You cannot see, then you think, I am a Lord. I am a doer, I will achieve myself, then you have a pain and depression. What circumstances come in my presence? I have to serve it. That is the service of the Lord, living entity. Then he is not living, then you can feel him. You can see him also, because you see in his devotee also to him, in living entity to him. That is the meditation, that is the real devotion. If it's not happening, it's not a problem. There is very mix-up story. This is the greatness of devotion. Sri Radha sits on a golden platform and Tulasi combs her curly monsoon cloud like hair with a golden comb making it look like a golden Net the comb that is dragged through the blackish Yamuna water, the hair. Sometimes contracting it by holding it in her left fist and sometimes allowing it to expand and to swallow her bloomy, lotus-like face when she opens her left fist and combs it again. You see, here is my very deep sun. That black is the air. 
and calm is a golden. What is many? What is many? Remind you, black is Krishna, golden is Radha. And when they put the hair in the front of gopis to Radhika, Radhika also feels that Krishna is rich. And the gopi think, the mandiri think that I am coming Radhika golden in with the black. Meditation is a color, but in this color Radha Krishna is there. The hair decoration, but in this hair decoration, Radha Krishna is there. Sri Radha sits on a golden platform and Tulasi combs her curly monsoon cloud like hair with a golden comb, making it look like a golden net, the comb, that is dragged through the blackish Yamuna water, the hair. Sometimes contracting it by holding it in her left fist and sometimes allowing it to expand and to swallow her blooming lotus-like face when she opens her left fist and combs it again. What a loving service! Each single strand of hair is dear to Tulasi than millions of love lives. These are, after all, no ordinary hairs. The Acharyas define Srimati's hair as follows. By always thinking of Krishna, the vine sprouts of Radha's thoughts and desires have become black and after they were sprinkled by the nectar of love for him they have come out as her thin, long hair. Clear? Fall. Understand? Thinking of Radhika for Krishna become hair. And this is black hair. Because he is black. Oh, mm -hmm. 
And meeting of Krishna and Radhika is golden cup. Is a service affair, but the mind of the manjaris are where in Radha and Krishna. Means every action is one pointed thinking. In all service, what we do day-to-day -day life is nothing out of that. And when we learn, when we are a student, we have to learn like a student, then we can learn it. The maid servants experience this more vividly than anybody. Why? Because they are the maid servants. If they are not maid servants, they will never experience it. Maid servant means they are in the service of love, in the service of mercy of love. Servant, they are not a boss. Only servant can learn. A student can learn who want to learn. That is the meaning of medicine. The maid servants experience this more vividly. Very clearly, vivid means clearly. Than anybody else. For their hearts are non different from Swaminis. Outside of Prema's domain, there can be no acquaintance with Prema Mahiradha at all. Tulasi has finished combing Radhika's hair and sits down on her knees behind her now to braid it with loving expertise. She sits behind Swami, but she strongly desires to see her beautiful face. That's why she calls her Goshtendra Sunudaita. All 
beloved of the prince of Raja. This address is full of secrets. How many emotions can be known through this address? Swamini is Krishna's Bhava Mai. Full of feeling. Bhava. My means always living in that feeling. Of she has so intense love, she not go out of that. If I have a, some love, as a dasi for her, I will be also, will do the same, like uh, the manjaris are doing. Means I have also developed feeling to feel this in all circumstances. Krishna, how Radhika is living, and we have to live in Bhavmai feelings, means Radhika feeling, means that way I can feel the love inside me. When this black hair come to Radhika and to us, because we are meditating in Krishna, God meditates. And she also meditating Krishna, and she feel like this, we never feel like this. That is meaning of God. She is living in that feeling. So what is this? A spiritual life is a feeling life. Material life, feeling less life. To develop a spiritual life with the feeling is a spiritual life. Swami Bhava, Dasi is Radhika's Bhava, means loving feeling. We have to always keep ourselves in loving and service to others. Dasi is Tisi. One 
of her sweet spores with Krishna. The word Goshtendra Sunu Daiten can mean you are the beloved of the prince of Raja or the prince of Raja is your beloved. Because it is a Bahovrihi compound in the sixth tense, which is mutually applicable. This shows <coughs> their mutual love. Tulasi says, at the end of your pastimes, in the Kunja, Shama is making your braid with his own hands and you also put his crown on. Or sometimes, out of deep love, you may reverse roles and Shama may think himself to be you. And you think of yourself <coughs> as him and then he will put his crown on your head and you will lovingly braid his hair Can I also once serve you so expertly and lovingly as Shama does? I am your poor unqualified maid servant. Be so merciful to give me that service that is my desire. When Swamini hears herself being called beloved of the Prince of Raja. She is overwhelmed and thinks that it is Shama who makes her great instead of Tulasi. Wow. It's a one exam. Tulsi is doing, but she is feeling Shama is doing.
never thinking the bread here air to making na so that moment also thinking for shyama krishna and we do we, we never think for them so this feeling has to come bring to the all living entity and feel it that way that you are connected there everything is his service when you are love to your daughter priya you see same age any babies you feel it my ear priya same like the the love makes you to feel it is to them if you have a love you will feel everywhere in all circumstances then you are not doer you are a viewer they will manage your things <laughs> what you cannot do impossible for you your work will be so easy in your life that he will surprise how it happens what are that but um what if it happens that when one is in service then he can also feel negative feelings because material she is not his priest negative means material i see material and positive means everywhere you can feel it divinity that is positive that is consciousness what is conscious that you can feel it everywhere our friend come she say i dream what guru helps he develop our consciousness he teaches humbleness and teaches sanagati three things he explains one day by dream right three words i i surprise i learned these words really conscious humbleness second thing if i am not humble means i no follow my spiritual path i have an ego i am not humble consciousness humbleness and surrender sanagat i have to follow my navigator this is my benefit this belief has to be there but at the same time he is not goal goal is something as that is radha mohan is goal by this way for radhika krishna is the goal for manjari radhika is the goal for all circumstances something is goal some is navigator and we we have to become a student of that navigator to follow that if not then i have to be doer Simple. Then doer has to take the suffering and distress and karma. 
Karma means distress and happiness. This is a spiritual way of life. One is a religious way of life. Then we search the scriptures. And one is a material way of life. When we search for the material body, senses and ego and we with that. Free way of life. Sin. The priest always watching the sin, who is right, who is wrong, and he becomes checking of the sin, not looking to the goal, Lord. They are looking to the sin. This is the nature of the religious person, priest, who wants to be a priest. Material personalism. You can see the suffering of materialism. Try to find out. Every step is wrong, every thinking is wrong, and only to myself to enjoy my senses is the good. While she relishes that thought and feeling like a bee falling into the nectar of a blue lotus flower. Blessed is Tulasi. Blessed is her service with one address she manages to crystallize the lila rasa and submerge swamini in relishing that savor The practicing devotee should try to remember the sweet pastimes every day.
when the Swarupa Vesh remains, Maya has no chance to contaminate the devotee's mind. Swarupa Vesh means the soul form. One is material form and one is the soul form. Soul is material. Soul has a material body. He can enjoy the senses. He can do anything physically like we do. This point, soul point, is the spirit of God. It is start with the divinity, it is a part and partial of the God for the Creator. And from there is spiritual life moving. If not, then we are walking in the land. Land with this material life. To make the land pure, we become religious. If not, we keep religious practice, we will be material. Religion is a practice to keep pure from the to not becoming material, non living. But a spiritual thing is difficult to practice because it moves from the soul consciousness and it moves with the feelings. When we desire for that, then we can practice it. And what is the practice? In all living entity, what you do Every time you have to meditate is a service. If the moment that time you serve and you not see the service, I am a doer for some benefit, it's not service. And to fix the mind one point, for you I am doing, not for my personal benefit. are caused by bodily consciousness. Yeah, Maya is disturbing because I exist with body. They catch me always. You have to be intelligent to check for yourself. I am in front of Maya or my spiritual Identification. They always can bring back to the plan, to the material. This is the job of Maya. If they no catch, then this is not Maya. The catch to bring back to you in the false ego. And material identification. This is Maya. Yeah. Narmada 
the forest's daughter makes beautiful small garlands with fragrant yuchi and kamali flowers for Tulasi to make a braid with. With a beautiful handicraft, just as Tulasi stretches out her hand to do the work, the spiritual vision disappears and she cries and laments out of disappointment. When can this fallen soul lovingly make your brain with small garments that were strung by Narmada. By? Um, Narmada is the florist's daughter. Sri Rasika Chandra Das sings. Again, I will carefully and expertly wash your lotus feet with fragrant water and dry them off with my own hair before I sit you on a wonderful throne Listen, oh listen, beloved of the Prince of Raja. After combing your hair, this maidservant will blissfully sit down to make it into a braid. Then Narmada quickly comes with a basket containing a garland made of different flowers. With love, I will take that garland and string it into a wonderful braid with your hair. You see, the flower is a different flower. What is meaning? Every bird is a different thinking. Every person is a different. Thinking is different, working is different, doing is all is different. So this flower has to come in one thread, very different. Is impossible. But the who is the making the garment, they know the tricks how to pour in one thread to all flowers. Different thinking of the person how to pour it in one flower and that becomes garment. And that I offer. 
of the RD type of varieties of flowers. In your service, their mind will change by your service. Read again. Understand this question with the feeling. Narmada quickly comes with a basket containing a garment. Bulk of you, you people. Basket means this flower is bulk of the flower. Many people come together. And every flower is a different, different, it's not a one type of flower. <laughs> every one is a different. Color is different, flavor is different, looking is different, plants coming from different. When so the root is different, basic is different. Nature is different. Somebody live long time, somebody dry up very fast. Different color. Different colors, different flavors. This is our nature. So these flowers are actually servants. Flowers are human beings. All living entities are like a flower. They have also flavor. They have also color. They have all qualities there. But they don't know how to use themselves. So one gardener who knows to pour the flower in one field, they know what to use it, how to use it. <laughs> I, I was in, in Grasta Ashram. I took sannyas in Colombia. Then I asked to my sannyas guru, Are what I do now? I don't know anything. Now I cannot do anything. Because I was in Grihastasra, my never brahmachari, never, never in temple, never doing kirtan, never I dance and anything I do like that. I am normal Grihastha. He gave me one book in Spanish and I don't know the Spanish. He said, this book will help you. I say, I don't know any Spanish, how it will help me? He say, it will help you. And really it helped me, because this was Sridhar Maharaj book. And his all words was divine, like this. You read the Sridhar Maharaj book, he's all divinity. He's not... You cannot understand when you are spiritually not elevated. And really, I don't know Spanish, but I got the translator to give a translate film for English. And I'm listening. And it was really beautiful for me. Because I want a spiritual thing, not religious or not <laughs> normal 
balsam I want to read. I want a spiritual. And this book is a spiritual. This book are spiritual. How to develop my spiritual life? I have no business with the religious activities and to remember the slokas and I don't know. I am not interested. I born in India, I know these things by day-to-day -day life practice. Why to know again and remember the sloka for that? I am practicing a spiritual, how to be there and to grow it. This is not my hither. And this helped me so much, I cannot say you. Every verse, every line bring me up, up, up. So this book is like this, bringing you up and up. If you don't need religious to become a material to live in that. If you want, then this book is not good. Simple. If you want to grow a spiritual your consciousness, wonder. No other book is there. In the all books of religious practice, Sridhar Maharaj book is the top. not easy to understand. And in that talk, to highest spiritual practice is this one, which is my essence. Nobody in between. They can give some sanchari bhava, some idea. But they is doing and practicing that. Every verse of Sridhar Maharaj is spiritually born. Every verse and line is that way. And this one. You see, any line or any paragraph out of your meditation. There. Yeah. Start a new verse. New verse finished. Twenty three is finished. You can't do this for tomorrow. Last, you can read again. Last paragraph. Then Narmada quickly comes with a basket containing a garment made of different flowers with love I will take that garment and string it into a wonderful braid with your Jai Jai Shri Jai Jai